Hello students. Uh, we now discuss linear differential equations of first order. So definition is a differential equation is said to be linear if the dependent variable y and its derivatives appear only in the first degree. Only in the first degree. That means in the linear differential equation, we cannot have terms of the form y square or dy by dx raised to 5 or we cannot have y into dy by dx etc. Let us see some examples. So first is dy by dx plus 3x into y equal to x square. Here, y and dy by dx. These terms are in first degree. We don't have nonlinear terms in y and dy by dx. So this is linear. Second example, d2y by dx square minus sin x into dy by dx equal to 4x. This is also linear because here dy by dx and d2y by dx where these are appearing in first degree. Now let us see some examples of non-linear equations. Okay, so second is also linear. Now examples of non-linear equations. A dy by dx equal to y square plus 3x. This is non linear. It is because the term y square. So here, the dependent variable y has degree 2. So this equation is non-linear. Next example. d2y by dx square minus y into 
dy by dx equal to 0. This is also non-linear because there is a product of dependent variable y and its derivative. Now we discuss the method to solve first order linear differential equations. First order linear differential equations. So here we consider the general form. General form of such equation is dy by dx plus p y equal to Q. We call this equation as equation 1, where P and Q are functions of X or maybe constants. Now we see solution method. Method to solve differential equation of the form 1. Now question is whether this equation is Exact. So if we consider this equation, we multiply by dx, then we can easily check that it is not exact differential equation. So it is homework. Equation 1 is not exact. Now we first consider simpler case that is we consider right hand side to be 0. Okay, so step 1. Consider simpler case. That is dy by dx plus py equal to 0. We call this as 2. So we can easily convert this equation to variable separable form. Okay. So we have dy divided by y plus p dx equal to 0. We can integrate this equation. So integrating we get integration of dy upon y is log of y. Plus P is unknown function of x, so we simply write as integral p dx equal to constant of integration. We may write c or log of c for simplicity. We write log of c, where c is 
constant of integration. Now we want to obtain the value of y from this equation. So if we take exponential of this equation, then we get e raised to log of y, that will be y and then e raised to integral p dx. So let me write in details. So e raised to log of y plus integral p dx equal to e raised to log of c. Now this is e raised to log of y. So e raised to a plus b form is e raised to a into e raised to b. So this is e raised to integral p dx equal to e raised to log c. Now exponential and logarithm these are inverses of each other. So we can write this equation as e raised to log of y it is y into e raised to integral p dx equal to c or we have the solution as y equal to c e raised to minus integral p dx. So this is solution of the simpler case dy by dx plus py equal to 0. Here derivative of y into e raised to integral p dx is let us see it is y into derivative of e raised to integral p dx plus e raised to integral p dx into derivative of y. So derivative of e raised to some function of x is e raised to that function into derivative of that function. Say derivative of e raised to u of x is e raised to u of x into u dash of x. So this is y e raised to integral p dx into derivative of integral p dx. So it is simply p plus e raised to integral p dx into dy. So we may take e raised to integral p dx common and we have dy we take second term plus dy plus p into y yeah there should should be uh, py dx here so here we should have dx we are differentiating e raised to integral p dx so it is e raised to integral p dx into p which is function of x and so dx. So I should write here p, y and dx. Okay. So this shows d 
that dy yeah, here uh, we can rewrite this as e raised to integral p dx into dy by dx plus py dx. So our equation was dy by dx plus p into y equal to q of x. So this computation show that d of y e raised to integral p dx is e raised to integral p dx into dy by dx plus p y dx. That means e raised to integral p dx is integrating factor. It makes dy by dx plus p y this as exact differential. This shows that e raised to integral p dx is integrating factor. So we multiply our equation by e raised to integral p dx. Our equation is dy by dx equation 1 dy by dx plus py equal to q. So let us multiply this equation by e raised to integral p dx. Multiplying equation 1 by integrating factor. So left hand side is e raised to integral p dx into dy by dx plus py equal to e raised to integral p dx q. We can multiply this equation by dx also. So, multiplying by dx also. So left hand side is e raised to integral p dx dy by dx plus py dx equal to e raised to integral p dx q dx. Now left hand side is exact differential it is d of y e raised to integral p dx and right hand side is e raised to integral p dx q dx. Now this shows that y into e raised to integral p dx is so uh, we want y from this so we need to integrate this equation. So integrating we get left hand side as y e raised to integral p dx and right hand side as integral e raised to integral p dx q dx. Okay. So actually it is easy to remember the formula as y into integrating factor because e raised to integral p dx is integrating factor y into integrating factor equal to integral q into integrating factor dx. Of course, we must have plus c as constant of integration everywhere. So this is formula for solution of linear differential equation. And from this we can obtain y as y equal to a raised to 
minus integral p tx integral e raised to integral p tx q tx plus c into e raised to minus integral p dx okay so instead of taking this last as a solution it is easy to remember the formula y into integrating factor equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c where integrating factor is e raised to integral p dx mm -hmm. let us solve one example First example is dy by dx plus y equal to e raised to minus x. First we compare this equation with standard form. dy by dx plus py equal to q and we get p equal to 1 and q equal to e raised to minus x. Therefore, integrating factor is e raised to integral p dx which is equal to e raised to integral 1 dx so e raised to x and we multiply given equation by integrating factor e raised to x so it becomes uh, actually we don't need to multiply you can write solution directly okay so general solution of given equation is y the formula is y into integrating factor equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c remember this formula so it is y integrating factor is e raised to x equal to integral q q is e raised to minus x Into integrating factor is a raised to x dx plus c so that right hand side is this is e raised to minus x into a raised to x so it is 1 so it is x plus c and our solution is obtained by multiplying e raised to minus x so we get y equal to x e raised to minus x plus c e raised to minus x. This is a required solution. Let us see next example. Example is x square plus 1 into dy by dx plus 2xy equal to 4x square. We can observe that dependent variable y and its derivative these are in first degree 
so this is linear differential equation we need to rearrange the terms so we rewrite this equation as therefore dy by dx we, di we divide by x square plus 1 so that we get dy by dx plus 2 times x divided by x square plus 1 into y equal to 4 x square upon x square plus 1. We compare this equation with the standard equation dy by dx plus py equal to q. We get p equal to two x divided by x square plus 1 and q equal to 4x square upon x square plus 1. Now integrating factor is e raised to integral p dx here it, it is e raised to integral 2x dx divided by x square plus 1. Now, here we put t equal to x square plus 1 so that 2x dx is dt. And so this integral is log of t. So this is e raised to log of x square plus 1. And so it is simply x square plus 1. And general solution is y into integrating factor equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c so that it is y into x square plus 1 equal to integral q where q is 4 x square upon x square plus 1. into integrating factor is x square plus 1. dx plus c. So right hand side is simply integral 4x square. So it is 4 x cube by 3 plus c and our solution is y equal to 1 upon x square plus 1 into 4 x cube by 3 plus c. So this is required solution.